in this video I'm gonna spill some tea on how to calculate trigonometric function without using a calculator Hi, I'm Miss Isha and I've been teaching for more than 12 years. In order to answer this question, first, you guys need to remember two values, okay? Which is tangent 45 and also sine 30. Okay, you guys need to remember that tangent 45 is equivalent to 1 and sine 30 is equivalent to 1 over 2. Alright, and then we have to form two right angle triangle. The first right angle triangle going to be an isosceles right angle triangle whereby both angles going to be the same which means in this case here going to be 45 and here going to be 45 as well okay for the second triangle it going to be scalar right angle triangle so we just catch the triangles okay so here it's going to be 30 and over here it's going to be 60 All right so just now we remember that tangent 45 is 1 right so remember tangent is 2 2 is opposite over adjacent tangent 45 equivalent to 1 which means it's also equal to 1 over 1 right so in this case tangent 45 so for the opposite is 1 and the adjacent is also 1 we can easily we can easily find the length of hypotenuse by using theorem Pythagoras this is because 1 square plus 1 square square root the answer we gonna get square root 2 okay and then for this triangle sine 30 is equal to 1 over 2 so we have to remember or we already remember sine 30 is sine is actually so which is opposite over hypotenuse okay so sine 30 so opposite for high opposite for this 30 is this line which is it's going to be 1 and then the hypotenuse is 2 by using that value we can easily find the length of this which is 2 square minus 1 square and then square root the answer we will get square root Okay, now we can answer the question. So, guys, uh, if you guys want me to explain in more detail about the things that I mentioned just now, for example, like theorem Pythagoras or uh, about the sine cos tangent rule, which is ka, so, and twa. If you want me to do a separate video about that, you can let me know down below. Okay, so for this one. We have 3 tangent 45. So I will have 3. For tangent 45, of course, we already know the tangent 45 is 1. Right? We already remember that. Okay. So now for cos 60. For cos 60, we will take a look at here. So cos for cos is ka. Ka is actually adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. So adjacent here is 1 and hypotenuse is 2 for this 60. Adjacent is 1 and hypotenuse is 2. So I will have 1 over 2. 
and then I will just bring down this plus two okay sine 30 of course sine 30 we already remember just now which is 1 over 2 okay so we can cut off the things that is able to cut off for example this one okay so it become 1 over here 1 over 2 and then the 2 we bring it up then 3 times 2 it's going to be 6 right so I will have 6 plus this is 1 okay then we have the answer 7 okay so now let's go to question number 2 okay now let's take a look at question number 2 I already moved our clue and info that we need to the other side okay okay for this question number two okay by the way guys i will be posting every monday wednesday and friday regarding mathematics so if you guys don't want to get missed out do subscribe and ring the bell notification okay so that i will make more and more video if not i will stop so subscribe okay so for this, we have square root 3, sine 60, for this sine 60, we will take a look at this one. So here, the sine 60, sine is so, so is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite for this is square root 3 and the hypotenuse is 2. So over here, it will be square root 3 over Two, okay, plus square root two, and then for cos forty-five, we will take a look at this triangle over here. You can use any angle that you want. Cos cos is ka ka is adjacent over hypotenuse. So for this angle over here, the high the adjacent is one, and the hypotenuse is square root two. So it will it's gonna be one over square root two. And then we will get, I mean, I can actually cross, we can cross it, cross this off, we can eliminate that, okay. And then square root 3 times square root 3, it's going to give us 3, okay. We know this rule, okay, there is a syllabus explaining this, so if you guys want me to give more detail about that, let me know down, okay, but not for this. We already know square root 3 times square root 3 is going to be 3 over 2 plus this one, 1, okay? So this is 1 and a half, right? 3 over 2 is 1 and a half plus 1. So we're going to get 2, 1 and a half. So 2 and a half, okay? Alright, so that's the answer. So for question number 3, Okay, let's try one more question, alright? Okay, so for this one, we will be having, the, I bring it down this 2, okay? So it's going to be 2, and then I bring the bracket down as well. Okay, so for cos 60, again here, cos 60, cos is ka is adjacent over hypotenuse so for this adjacent is 1 and hypotenuse is 2 so it's going to be 1 over 2 plus sine 30 sine 30 we already remember which is 1 over 2 plus square root 2 sine 45 sine is actually equivalent to so so is opposite over hypotenuse so in this case for the 45 opposite is 1 hypotenuse is square root 2 therefore 1 over square root 2 okay we have that okay so i can cut this off okay because of the division rule and then for this one i have two half plus half it's gonna be one and then plus another one so two times one is two plus this one equivalent to three there you have it guys 
easy peasy lemon squeezy right okay so by the way if this video give you guys maybe a little bit value or you gain something from it do like okay do like and subscribe so that these are few first videos of mine on YouTube so it will be very helpful okay so yeah okay question of the day what are the next topics or subtopics that you guys want me to show let me know down below and I will explain and discuss and show it to you guys okay all right goodbye okay,